the third thing we're going to do is a, an application which is actually a puzzle solver. Uh, inter interestingly enough, uh, puzzles um, often contain some kind of uh, possibility for making the puzzle very hard. And some puzzles have this uh, in them. And Sudoku is an example of this, where some types of Sudoku problems are in this class of very hard problems. And uh, Sudoku is, again, kind of a little bit of a whimsical example. But it turns out that in some applications of games, like, for example, massively multiplayer online games, there are scheduling problems that the non-human characters have to solve in order to behave naturally. And uh, it's, uh, you know, I played World of Warcraft much more than I should. <laughs> but uh, uh, it's amazing the degree of realism that these things can provide, given the, the enormous number of people who use them. And some of the math of it is really very, very tough stuff. So it could be that in the future, one of these machines could actually contribute to something like an online gaming experience, at least for solving certain very, very hard types of problems. So Sudoku, or Sudoku, uh, is a solver where if you enter a, a specific Sudoku puzzle, and you hit the, the solver button, the problem is created, as we uh, mentioned before. It's sent over this online, this connection, and the quantum computer spits out the answer. There it is. Uh, 